Hello friends, it's Kick here, and in today's episode you'll hear about Elon Musk announcing a ban on using iPhones with AI from OpenAI across all his companies. An AI piloting system that successfully intercepted a fighter jet in a training battle, Tesla Cybertruck for police, Nvidia participating in the update of Rivian's R1 family of electric vehicles, and SpaceX completing the construction of the Star Factory plant that will increase the pace of production of the company's most modern rockets, up to one a day. All this and much more right now, let's go. Today we decided to start with the Apple presentation and why Elon threatened to ban iPhones with OpenAI AI after this presentation, but let's start with the presentation itself so that everything is clear to everyone. The main feature of the event was the presentation of a new artificial intelligence AI, which is not opened as artificial intelligence but as Apple intelligence. However, there was plenty to see besides it. Apple introduced interesting features of the new iOS 18, iPad OS 18 and macOS Sequoia. Initially, Apple announced the second version of Vision OS, the operating system for for its mixed reality headset Apple Vision Pro. At the previous WWDC it was the highlight of the program but now they presented minor though pleasant updates. The Photos application now allows you to convert any photo into a spatial image. The virtual display function has been updated. Now the screen of a connected Mac can be expanded to a widescreen display and spatial videos can now be edited in Final Cut Pro. The new iOS 18 has brought many innovations. Changes have touched the control center. There are more customization options. Application icons can now be placed in arbitrary places as on any Android. In addition, they can now be repainted in any shade and they automatically darken when switching to dark mode. Any application can now be locked by Face ID. And to ensure that no one guesses that you are using it at all, hide it in a special folder, which is also available only by Face ID. The Photos application has been completely redesigned and these are actually the most massive changes in the program since its appearance. Now there is a general feed with filtering by dates and types of content, but the most anticipated was of course the AI, this new Apple Artificial Intelligence which is deeply integrated into the ecosystem. It operates on the base of the device itself, as the company cares about the privacy and security of data. Of course, this will require powerful devices. Support for A17 Pro processors is announced, as well as chips from M1 to M4. Apple Intelligence will also work in the cloud, but on a specially protected server. Apple calls this private cloud compute. It is noted that the company collaborates with OpenAI to process individual cloud requests. Apple Intelligence's capabilities include tasks such as image generation, creating unique emojis, extracting text, highlighting important notifications, and the like. Of course, they also promise help in composing and rewriting texts. In addition, AI should understand the context well. Siri finally has become smarter. Apple states that you can now have a more natural dialogue with her, not only by voice but also by text. She understands personal context well and knows more about the user. Siri can explain how a certain function works on the device, will perform actions for you in applications, say processing an image or searching for photos by description, will lay out a convenient router and so on. The visualization has also changed. Now it is a pulsating colorful frame around the display. Apple Intelligence will be available on iPhone 15 Pro as well as on iPads and Macs with the M1 chip and beyond. Well, we talked about the innovations, and now let's see why Elon exploded. He literally wrote the following in X. If Apple integrates OpenAI at the OS level, then Apple devices will be banned in my companies. This is an unacceptable security breach. He also added that visitors will have to leave iPhones at the entrance for storage in Faraday cages to block electromagnetic signals. And Musk is not the only one who has expressed concern about innovations in the context of data protection. A respected hacker and cybersecurity expert hiding under the pseudonym Pliny the Prompter called this step bold old, but potentially risky considering the current level of AI security. In the past, Apple has always strictly protected user interests and continues to insist that OpenAI will also respect data protection. But considering the lack of a thorough understanding of what is happening in the mind of a powerful generative model, in fact, Apple voluntarily places a black box at the very center of its operating system and hopes that nothing bad will happen, although it knows that even the most advanced modern AI models make mistakes and are susceptible to manipulation. What do you think? Do you agree with Elon? We are waiting for your comments. And we flew further. Lockheed Martin, in collaboration with the University of Iowa, conducted a successful test of artificial intelligence in air combat and in scenarios of intercepting an enemy aircraft. In each flight, AI was evaluated in eight different tests, including various combat scenarios, head-on collisions, distance maneuvers, missile attacks, and evasion from enemy missiles. Lockheed Martin noted that AI showed a smooth transition from simulations to real conditions, acting purposefully and decisively. Previously, Lockheed Martin had already conducted AI tests on pairs of L-29 
Ukraine Delphin aircraft, which performed tasks for electronic warfare. During these tests, the aircraft worked in tandem and created interference in a simulated air-to-ground mission. Additional tests are planned in the coming months with an increase in the number of aircraft and the complexity of scenarios. Lockheed Martin continues to refine AI to ensure its compatibility with various platforms and systems. The company emphasizes that despite the successes of AI, the role of man remains critically important. People will make the final decisions about the use of weapons in AI and machine learning systems of Lockheed Martin, in accordance with the ethical standards of the U.S. Department of Defense. Engineers from the Singapore University of Technology and Design have developed FRAU, a drone with a foldable rotating wing origami. The active version of the monocopter actually moves through the air, rotating its entire body. It has two wings on one axis, between which is a compact body with electronic filling. Each wing blade is made of cork tree panels, covered with a thin polymer membrane. Along the wing runs a thin telescopic rod made of carbon fiber. At the end of each wing, a propeller with a motor is attached. In the usual flight mode, both wings are fully extended to provide maximum lift. If you have to fly in a limited space, the wingspan can be reduced. For this, there are two drives connected to the sliding rod. The wings blades fold like an accordion, allowing to reduce the overall wingspan by 39%. Meanwhile, the network showed Tesla Cybertruck for the police. The American company Unplugged Performance has presented an improved version of the SUV specifically oriented to police officers. The authors position the vehicle as a tactical vehicle with the highest ballistic protection. Technically, the police Cybertruck is almost no different from the civilian one. The color changed from gray to dark blue. Near the thresholds and on the roof, LED strips blinkers appeared. The onboard computer was changed. It added the necessary police functions. The external speaker has become louder. It can be used as a loudspeaker. By the way, Elon approves of the idea of using Cybertruck as police cars. In January 2024, the Texas Police Department approached Musk with a question about the possibility of updating the fleet to Cybertruck, to which Elon responded positively. And here is the American manufacturer of electric vehicles, Rivian Automotive announced updated versions of its flagship models of the R1T pickup and the R1S SUV. The new 2025 model year models received significant improvements in terms of range, performance and computing capabilities thanks to NVIDIA chips. Although the electric vehicles have not changed much externally, Rivian has completely redesigned more than half of the components, including batteries and electrical architecture. One of the key innovations was a tenfold increase in computing power compared to the previous generation. Now the cars use two NVIDIA Drive Orin processors, which are the basis of the autonomous driving system. The premium version of the system will receive extended autopilot features, including hands-free driving on short sections of the road and under constant driver control. The company announced that the 2025 model year models will go on sale immediately. Prices for the R1S will increase by $1,000 and start at $75,900, while prices for the R1T will remain the same, $69,900. It is also noted that the release of updated flagships is aimed at boosting sales before the launch of the more affordable R2 line with a starting price of about $45,000. The Rivian R2 series of electric vehicles will begin shipping in 2026. And what would Kik be without space? SpaceX has completed the construction of its most ambitious spaceship assembly plant. Star Factory is part of the company's main manufacturing complex named Starbase. Construction of Starbase began in 2018 and cost the company at least 100 million US dollars. Currently, the area of the factory located in Texas is about 10 square kilometers. The construction of Star Factory will significantly increase the pace of production of the company's most modern rockets, up to one a day. It is quite possible that SpaceX will dedicate all production capacity capacities to the assembly of Starship version 2, which, compared to its predecessors, can boast many aerodynamic changes, less weight, and a larger volume of fuel carried. It is expected that Star Factory will allow the production of one Starship per day, which in the long term may significantly reduce the cost of rocket launches and even become the basis for space expansion. In particular, such democratization of costs will allow many startups and companies to enter the market with their developments in energy and mineral extraction beyond Earth, as well as organize new research and tourist companies. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to stay updated on high-tech news. Peace to your home.